WZTV Baltimore. This is Eyewitness News with Al Sanders. Denise Cope. Weather with Bob Turk. Sports with John Buren. Mike Lester's commentary. Arsonists may have struck again in Cecil County. Another fire causing massive damage at the Chesapeake Job Corps Center. A dozen fires, six of them set deliberately, have left a trail of destruction at the center in the past year. The night team's David Murphy reports there are differing opinions on how this one got started. These flames tell an all too familiar story. 100 firefighters are on the scene this time at the old Bainbridge Naval Training Base near Fort Deposit dumping water on what is apparently another deliberately set fire. The sign says no trespassing beyond this telephone pole, but apparently several people have done just that. In fact, firefighters tell me that this is about the tenth fire they've knocked down here in the last year, and most of them have been arson. This building, like others on this base, has been empty for years, but the arson problem here has involved other buildings that are not. Specifically, buildings housing the Chesapeake Job Corps Center, a program that houses and trains underprivileged young people. The center's director says it's outsiders causing the trouble this time. We have found trespassers coming in through this Navy side here. Trespassers have come in throughout South Side, coming from the port area. But that hasn't been the case in the past. The fire marshal's office says in previous fires, like this one in a Job Corps dormitory last April, the arsonists have been Job Corps residents. The arrests have all been Job Corps members uh, assigned here for their activities. The center director says all her charges have been accounted for this time. But those investigating this latest suspicious fire say some of those charges are still being questioned. In the meantime, the question of what to do about the problem burns on. For the night team, David Murphy, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Investigators are interviewing two residents of the center tonight, though again, no charges have been filed.